Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen. Nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'ina ma ba'd. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us to meet the month of Ramadan once again. And I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from all of us, and I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives all of us the tawfiq to do the actions and the deeds which are most pleasing to him and which earn us his forgiveness. So on behalf of Masjid Idris, uh, the Northgate Masjid in Seattle, Washington, I ask everybody, uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from everybody and to increase the blessings of everybody this month of Ramadan and to help us develop those actions which are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those characteristics that we can carry with us throughout the year until the next Ramadan. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Masjid Idris is open for Salatul Tarawih and Salatul Jumu'ah and the five daily prayers. So this month of Ramadan, we want to increase our actions and we want to do the actions which are most pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have the Masjid uh, open to facilitate that for us. And just like always, we will also want to be safe and we want to do this in the way that is best for the health and the safety of the community. So please register online for Salatul Tarawih and Salatul Jumu'ah. Uh, that way we can make sure that we are maintaining the guidelines set by the state of Washington. So a couple pieces of advice inshallah, just to make sure we can maximize our benefit in the month of Ramadan. First is Allah subhanahu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man sama Ramadan iman and wahtisaban gufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambi. Whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan with iman and ihtisab hoping for the reward from Allah, the, the, that person's previous sins will be forgiven. So one of the first things that we need to remember about our fast and making sure that our fast is accepted in order to earn that forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we're not just simply refraining from food and drink, but we're also refraining from the types of statements and actions which are displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَن لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ مِنْ أَنْ فِي أَنْ يَدَعْ فِي أَنْ يَدَعْ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever doesn't give up false speech and acting upon it, meaning saying bad things or acting in bad manners, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have any need for that person to give up their food and drink. So this is the first lesson that we need to take and benefit from to make sure that our fasts are accepted and that we earn the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this month, is that our statements and actions also need to be pure and clean and we also need to fast from any statements which are displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second bit of advice that I want to give is to read lots of Quran during this month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. This month of Ramadan is the month when the Quran was revealed. And this is the month when Jibreel alayhi salam would come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and review what he had learned from the Quran. So every Ramadan, we want to renew our relationship with the Quran. We want to increase the amount of Quran that we read. If you've already memorized the Quran, alhamdulillah, then use this month to review it. Review it more and more. Read the tafsir, read the translation. If you haven't memorized, use this month to memorize what you can. Use this month to review what you've already memorized. Use this month to just recite and ponder upon the meanings of the Qur'an. Read the translation, read the tafsir, and increase that relationship with the Qur'an. And make this a habit to last throughout the year. So when the month of Ramadan is over, we don't want to just put the mushaf back on the shelf and let it collect dust for 11 months until we pull it down next Ramadan. We want to try right now to develop this relationship with the Qur'an, which will last throughout the year. Which brings me to the third piece of advice, 
is during the month of Ramadan, we want to increase the amount of charity that we give. Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhumah, he describes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ajwada nas wa kana ajwadu ma yakunu fi Ramadan hina yalqahu Jibreel wa kana yalqahu Jibreel fayudarisuhu al-Qur'an. Ibn Abbas, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was the most generous of people in general uh, throughout the whole year. But he was the most generous at his most generous state during the month of Ramadan. And this is when Jibreel would come and would, uh, would teach him the Quran. So because we've been reciting the Quran and we're renewing our relationship with the Quran during Ramadan, we also want to follow the path of the Prophet وسلم, and increase our generosity. Give in sadaqah every opportunity that you have. Every night when there's a new fundraiser, every Jum'ah when there's a new fundraiser, this is a blessing and this is a chance for you to act upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If the masjid needs help, help the masjid. If a person in need uh, needs help, Alhamdulillah. If these people are raising money for an Islamic school, Alhamdulillah, we have all these opportunities and we can contribute to all of them. And this is the sunnah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to increase this generosity during the month of Ramadan. The last bit of advice that I want to give is to use this month to make dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about fasting in Surah Al-Baqarah, about fasting being prescribed for us, about the, uh, the, the month of Ramadan. And in the middle of these ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِي إِذَا دَعَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if my servants ask about me, then I am near. This ayah, this ayah has so many miracles and we hear people give entire khutbahs just about this one ayah. But the point is this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages us to make dua. And the ayah is general, you can make dua anytime. But the secret about this ayah being in between ayat talking about fasting and talking about Ramadan is because Ramadan is a chance for us to make more dua and a time for our dua to be more accepted because throughout Ramadan we're doing so many good deeds. When we've been fasting the whole day and we're about to break our fast, this is the time to raise our hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we're standing at night in tarawih, when we're in sujood, prostrating that are closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In our qiyam, in, uh, in Salatul Witr, after we've prayed this salah in the night, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have so many opportunities throughout Ramadan to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we keep making dua throughout the month of Ramadan to increase us in iman, to increase us in good deeds, to accept our actions, to bless us in this life and in the hereafter, to bless the people around us in this life and the hereafter, to keep us safe and to keep us healthy and to, uh, to, to spread the health and well-being through all the Muslims and through all the people of the world in general. So this is something that we have to constantly be remembering and doing during the month of Ramadan. Uh, so I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, accept from all of us in this month of Ramadan and to keep us all on the straight path and to help us all develop habits which will benefit us throughout the entire year. Uh, last but not least, regarding the beginning of Ramadan, uh, when the, as we know, the month of Ramadan is based on the sighting of the moon, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Sumu li ru'yatihi wa akhtiru li ru'yatihi. Fast according to it and break your fast according to it. So both at the beginning and, and the end of the month, you can call the masjid and there will be a recording which will let you know uh, if the moon has been sighted and the exact date that Ramadan will begin and the exact date when the Eid al-Fitr will occur. So again, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of us. Wallahu ta'ala alam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Ramadan Mubarak.